quick video for you guys on DWAC. I know some of you do still enjoy these, so I'm going to keep bringing them to you now and again. Today we're looking at a decline of about 5%. And we're talking about why, we're talking about where this leaves us. If it sounds like a good video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. But as always, do remember this is not financial advice. So we're actually going to start off here on the more complex chart this time. And we're going to break this down real quick. Now I want to do this on the one month and then move in a little bit. On the one month now, a few of our indicators are looking a bit more neutral. And a few of these are actually turning a bit more bearish. For instance, we're looking at a more bearish trend on the MACD. These lines are coming closer and closer, coming closer down to neutral now. And of course, if we do get below that, that is into negative territory. Now, we're seeing green candles overall, though, so this is still bullish. There is quite a mixed trend over here, and this is a lagging indicator over here on the MACD. So it's always going to be a little bit off, but you'll see it was coming back up because of this uptrend. Now we're going back down, and these lines are still following that. So how long will it take to, you know, see whether it's going to move up or down? I think it will become clear in the next couple of days, but I'll talk about this more in a moment. Now, when we come down a little bit, we have our volume figure. This is extraordinarily low today at 1.28 million, according to Yahoo Finance, by the way. And uh, come up a bit, you'll see our RSI in the middle. That's on 43, and that's this figure over here. And 43 for that is actually fairly good. It's only 7 points away from neutral, whereas in contrast, it's about 23 points to oversold. And it's obviously significantly more than that to being overbought. And come out to the five day, you will see a few of our indicators are looking fair on there as well. 47 for our RSI, so that's pretty perfect. Uh, our MACD is now coming down to more normal territory, coming back up to the actually more bullish side, but is very close to neutral now, which is good. And again, coming into one day, you will see things are looking fairly flat for the majority of this. We've seen that big decline, and of course, we're sitting flat for, all, for the rest of the session so far. And I want to talk quickly about why we are seeing this. I do think this time it is more related to more widespread market factors. Because if we have a look over here, we're looking at a few of our major stocks that we talk about on this channel. And of course, a few of these you may know, a few of these you may not. A lot of these are down big today. Of course, some of these do tend to run together and decline together, like DWAC and MARK, for example. But a few of these do not, like AMC. AMC is down, and again, a lot of the broader market is down as well. Now, from what I can tell, this is about fears of the new variant of COVID. Now, talking about that specifically, I know that a lot of people have a lot of opinions on that. I'm, I'm not a professional stock market YouTuber, I'm not a professional investor, and I'm certainly not a professional doctor. So I'm not going to get into that too much, but obviously it is something that people are a bit hesitant about. From what I can tell, we don't have too much data about it, and I think that's what people are looking for. But yeah, it is definitely causing some fears in the market, as potentially we're looking at a lockdown scenario in the future. So, what will this mean for DWAC? And as I have said in other videos tonight and in the past, I think this decline, especially you know related to wider market factors, it will affect some stocks more than others. And what we have with DWAC now, we don't have much data of course, but we do have more data than we have had in the past. Because every day we see the stock move up or down, we're seeing more and more data, because we are still in the last two months seeing this big rise. So of course, now we're seeing more and more stability, we're seeing this data, we're seeing previous levels of support and resistance. And when it comes to those levels by the way, I think we are still in a normal range. Now we've seen lows down here in the past, especially the past two or three days, uh, around this point of 40. Now 40 has been a nice level of support. It is of course where we are right now. So can we remain in 40? If we can, fantastic. If not, we're looking for a push below that, perhaps taking us to about 35 or somewhere in that range. And I don't think that's too bad at all. Now, if we can remain there and, of course, see a bit of a rise back up, that would not be too concerning. And again, especially looking at the wider market factors, where we are today, it isn't really, you know, too disappointing, especially looking at DWAC. It's not down too bad, but I think with this one, as I would say with the whole market right now, be very, very cautious. I'm not going to tell anybody to buy or sell any stocks in specific because, of course, like I said, I'm not a professional, but I do think now is a time to be very treacherous, be very careful in the wider market. Now, I'm not going to, again, relate this to specific stocks. So if you think this is a good one, of course, you feel free to buy it. If you think this is a bad one, do whatever you will with that. But I'm just saying the entire market does look very, very fragile at the moment. And that is something which should come into account when you are thinking about this. So thank you for watching this short video, guys. I'll see you all again in another one. Goodbye. 
thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen, you will be able to see in the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon